Oh. Hmm. Looks nice outside. Hmm. I gotta go feed the dogs. Hey, honey, you up? Mm, no. Okay. I'm gonna go take care of the dogs, okay? Okay. Hmm. I don't know what I need. Some, some food would Hugs be nice. Like, hmm? Looks like cooked meat. That's like uncooked. Mm hmm. I think I have some uncooked somewhere. I don't want to wake you up. Fish. Mm. No, no, go back to bed. I'll see you in just a little, okay? Okay. Um, okay. I love you. I'll see you. I love you. <laughs> Did I become home? Knock, knock. Why be? Oh. It decorated. What are these? Is that music? That's Panic at the Disco, isn't it? Huh. Interesting. Still not home. Where are you, YB? Oh, I forgot my tools. Shoot. Um, you know what? I'll give the aside a day today. Um, I got food. Nothing else, right? Should be fine. Should be some cooked food in here. And not uncooked, please. Uh, damn it. There is none. Shit. Nothing? Or am I just blind? I'll have to feed the cats after them. Hey, you lovely guys. How are we doing, ghost? Where's my boys? There you guys are. There you go. So, Toadstool, look at you. Why are you eating that lever? That's not good for you. Jambo, you really need to lay off the food, man. And, so, Toadstool. No, it's Chung, guys. God, I'm still waking up. Ugh. It's not as cool as I thought it would be. Alright. First thing on my list. Check in with Chapel. Everything's coming along really nicely. Everything looks so nice and clean again. <sighs> hmm. I wonder if I should see Koo today. I don't even think it's been a full week. And it is Friday. I kind of go see him on Wednesdays. Hmm. Maybe I'll see Coop before the New Year's party. He should be here. It's around that time he'd open, right? Anyway. Uh, hello, Jappel. It's Jay. Uh, c come on in, Jay. Uh, hi, where are you? Oh, oh there. there you go. Hey. How's it going? How's it been? Um, I'm doing okay. I just woke up not too long ago. Um, I just wanted to check in with you. Um, 
about some stuff that was going on. Do you do you have a minute? Yeah. Here, let's go up to the office. Yeah. Come on. Oh. Uh, I'll sit here. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. So, what what's what's been on your uh, mind? Uh, I swear I'm not here for a full session. I, I know we started doing this this <laughs> these sessions a lot since you know everything yeah. went back to normal, but. Uh, I don't want to make this a whole long session for you. I just, I had a, I had a dream last night. You know, first one in a while. It was about our home. You know, where you and me come from. Oh yeah. But I don't know. I haven't seen I haven't seen Hollow in months. I haven't seen JD in months. I haven't seen Sharma in months, and you know what happened with him. Yeah. I don't know, it's, it's just the first time I've dreamed of those guys in a while, just remembering how things were, you know? And... Yeah. But then there was something really weird that happened, and it was... The, the fact that Asher was there. And huh. it was like he and Sharma were talking or working on something together. It was so weird, and... Uh, I was trying to make sense of it all, but you know, dreams, they're... They're not meant to be you know, explained so easily, I guess. Yeah. I don't know. I have bizarre dreams, but this this was a first of its kind, at least with Asher. I haven't yeah. thought of him like that in a, a while. I mean, I talked to Rain the other day about him briefly, but other than that, I don't give him the time of day. It's just, I don't know, it's just maybe just reminiscing, I guess. I don't maybe. know. Could be your subconscious conscious trying to make a link between recent events and past events somehow. I, I don't know. I don't know just either. Trying, yeah. I just keep thinking about Hollow and the last time, you know, Simon and I saw him, and I wonder if he's still around. Did he go? Did he go back to Nucian? Did he just move and find another town that's maybe he thought was better than Marigold? You know, he wasn't here to see what happened to us in Asphodel. He doesn't even know what happened, I don't think. But Sharma, I don't know. He keeps appearing in my dreams every so often. You know that. And I just I just keep thinking of him, like, right over my shoulder. You know how annoyed you would get if you're reading a book and someone's, in, like, looking over your shoulder, watching yeah. you do something kind of thing? I always just feel like he's right there. And I don't know. I was just hoping to try to make some sense of it. I didn't even talk to Melody about it because I don't even know why. I'm just frustrated. Good um, job. The, the other reason I'm here, uh, thank you for listening, by the way, um, no, no, no is my prescription. Oh, yeah, I, I got it worked down right here. This book. Thank you. Is that for you? Thanks. Uh, same old, same old. Just take it to rain. Yep, take it to rain, and we'll get you set up. Okay. Um, thanks, Jeff. I appreciate it. I I promise we'll actually do another full session soon. Maybe after the new year. I'm I'm still thinking of a resolution. Okay. All right. I'll talk to you then, buddy. Yeah. It it it's good chatting with you again. You know. Everything's good with you. Yeah. Yeah. Everything's been doing fine, you know. Mm -hmm. Okay. I'll let you to it. I know you're busy. But uh, thanks again, all right? No problem. All right. See you around, buddy. See ya. <sighs> Another prescription. Hopefully it'll be the last. Hmm. Off to see rain. Last time I saw her was the day after the dinner. I thought for sure I'd see her again by now, but I guess I'll see her again first. Yeah. This walkway needs a bit of shoveling. I didn't bring a shovel. Hey, Rob. Um, no 
nobody's here. Uh, hey, Rain. Hello. Hmm? Oh, come in. Hey, how's it going? Hi, Jay. Uh, it's going well. Um, hi. So I just talked with Jappel. I just had a bit of a, a meeting with him. Just a brief one. Uh, yeah, I got a prescription here. So you're able to fill it out for me? Uh, my next uh, one. Uh, yeah. Uh, sure. You can give it to me in deck. Yeah. Uh, check. Um, it should be here. No. Uh, sorry, I don't remember where no, I put it, it. It's fine. Uh, I it. Here. Um, that's your. <sighs> Wait. Uh, is that your? Uh, yes, the that acetamethyl? is, yeah, I still cannot pronounce, it's kind of like Tylenol, but it's not, Right. that would give you brain bleed, um, uh-huh, yeah, no, I've been taking yeah. it, um, yeah, um, okay, so, hmm? we need a check-in before I can clear you, because, yep. oh. oh, no, you're good, <laughs> So sorry. No, you're um, fine. As, yeah. Uh, yeah. So before, uh, because this actually may be your last one. Oh, yeah. You think so? Yeah, but you know, first, uh, you know, checking. So you can sit down and. Uh, still a mess here. Um. Oh, oh, here. Where? Oh, this chair? Yeah, oh. yeah, yeah, just, yeah, just sit down. Um, okay, so put this on your arm and I will... Okay. Yeah. Like that, yeah. Yeah. So, how have you been doing? Uh, besides um, the little headaches every so often. Um mm. Nausea, dizziness, anything like that? No, just kind of like fast heart beating, palpitations maybe. It, it, it comes and goes, typically when I go to sleep at night. Yeah, your pressure is a bit off, but it's in a range of normal. Uh, you can give that back. Yeah, so your, as I said, it's in a range of acceptable okay um is there anything i should do to put it back into more acceptable or uh don't stress <laughs> that's the best option yb uh yb's been gone uh yb's supposed to be gone uh, back today and uh, i don't know I, I trust casper with you know looking after it but mm. yb wasn't supposed to stay the night and ask for us you know if that's what happened. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> no worries. Um, can you turn around? I need yeah. to check here. Okay. Can you breathe in? And breathe out. <sighs> yeah. yeah. Everything sounds great. Actually, your lung sounds amazing <laughs> thanks i haven't heard that in a while um yeah wait uh yb lives with you now yeah for the last couple months now three or four now at least uh, do you know why hasn't he picked up his four months worth of meds I, prescriptions i wasn't at even least. A, i wasn't even aware that he was on meds. No. Um, yeah. Uh, Zoloft. I think that's how it's put. Right. I still struggle with pronouncing medicine. Yeah, that's fine. Uh, yeah. Could you possibly give it to him when you have time so he can come by and pick it up? Yeah, of course. I, I didn't even know. I'm, I'm sorry. Um, yeah, oh, I can do that. I thought, I thought he may have just 
forgotten. I mean, I know he's been under a lot of stress, and I know he's, you know, the president. Yeah, of Maribor, that's what. That's but, that's that's why he's taking that yeah. should be so taking loved. this. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. I'll talk to him. Hopefully, he's home today. I'm. I'm still really worried about him. Yeah. Um. Yeah. So just tell him he can. Uh, come around and pick up uh, this one's birth subscription sure. with me. Um, yeah. Okay. Um, yeah. Anything so, else? So, um, except the fact that this may be your last dose of your yeah, meds. That sounds uh, pretty promising. Yeah. Yeah, but remember that if anything feels off your headaches get worse your blood pressure goes off the charts uh or yeah heart. irregular yeah. heartbeats and uh, ringing noises just you will need to probably get back on it for a little bit okay that's fine maybe a different one but yeah okay i'll let you know do you, do you think i'd be done with it by uh, New Year's? I mean, it's still a few days uh, off. Or... I mean, this is the last uh, dose, so yeah. Yeah. Uh, you, sh you should be done with it. Alright. So I should drink it today, not over the next few days? Just... Uh, drink... Wait. Uh, where did I put your description? Here. Uh... In the morning and in the evening. Okay, should I start with this evening uh, or tomorrow night? Uh, yeah, start this evening. Okay. Then tomorrow's morning. Sure. Okay. So on. Awesome. Thanks, Rain, a lot. All right. Yeah. Um, hope to see you again soon. And yeah. Thanks a lot. All right. Have a good one. Of course. Bye. Bye. Okay, uh, what's next? Oh, I said I would talk to Puffer. Okay. Uh, if he's not at the guild, I'd imagine he's at Snowco. Do you still call it that? Hmm. Guess we'll find out. Look, I haven't walked in here in a while either. Drink as much as you want, huh? Hello? Puffer? Yay? Oh, hey. Oh, Jesus. I didn't even see you up there. Hey, how's yeah. it going? Oh, howdy. Hey. Hi. How are you? How are you? Uh, I'm, I'm doing good. I've just been doing my morning stuff. Um, hang on a second. Uh, some chat was there. Hey, um, I've just been making my morning routine. Just, you know, going around and I knew that you and I were going to chat. I missed you the other day. Uh, just wanted to hear how things have been going here. I mean, nobody really said you could stop being the, the guy running the nights. And I don't mind not being in charge. So has anything weird happened? Any guild things or escorts? No, no. Mobs? Or? Nobody really comes in here anymore. It's just kind of empty. I guess people just come to drink, huh? If that. I this don't not see people something? in here often. Yeah, it's not... I mean... Here. Got plenty of beer. Oh, no, no, no. I, I don't drink anymore. Oh, alright. Yeah. More for me. Yeah. But aren't you... Aren't you 18? 17? Something like that. It's hard to remember. Uh-huh. Well, I guess we haven't made up any law about that. Anyway, that's a little unfortunate. I know when YB and Melody and Ku were cleaning up this place, I know they were hoping that more people would be around, but I guess it's seen better days. Yeah. Eh, maybe something will get people back in here one day. But for yeah. now, it's usually me. Well, I know Melody's happy with supplying you guys with the alcohol and I don't mind cleaning up and taking care of things you know 
I helped build this yeah. place after all. Uh, any words from any of the knights? However many are left. Are there any knights left? I don't think so. I'm pretty sure it's just me or at least anybody that's around still being a knight. Yeah. Sure, you know, the original knights are around, but are they still knights? No. If the face of Don't even considers himself a knight. Same with Ku. I know Ku's kind of like retired now and I've been checking up with him and he's doing okay. Eh. Yeah. Have you seen Aesodoni? Not at all. I haven't seen much of anybody. Uh, Just kind of been. Well, uh, why be through a dinner the the other day on the yeah, 25th? Yeah, um, sorry for missing that. It's just, I don't know. It's not my thing. No, you don't, you don't have to be sorry, man. I, I know, uh, I know why we put it together, hoping to bring a lot of people together, and I know you two used to be close, from what I heard. I've never really seen you two together, but uh, yeah, it's just I don't know. I guess we drifted apart. It's things got busy, you know, prison uh, for YB. Yeah, no, I that know. whole thing kind of. Well, you know, YB lives with Melody and I, right? Oh, really? Yeah, um, YB's often hanging out with uh, Jazz, you know, our uh, our uh, axolotl friend, the ghost. I'm not sure if you two met. The ghost, Jazz, the um, axolotl. You might didn't... have known them as Lucky, the follower. Oh, Lucky! Oh, yeah, that's... I, I Wait, thought you... Ghost? Oh, right, the... Yeah, I don't know how much you know about the whole scenario situation, but, uh, you know, basically Lucky wasn't actually Lucky, but when Lucky died, they came back as a ghost. Lucky was the person, the, the bad one. Jazz is the person who was brainwashed. Jazz is good. I, I've, I've been seeing Jazz around as a ghost for a couple months now. But, but anyway, YB's hanging out with Jazz and even with Casper, you know, the raccoon? I think I've seen them before. I don't think I know them, but... Yeah, it, it's pretty neat. But uh, anyway, uh, you know, my house is right over there. If you ever want to chat with YB or talk with him, I'm sure he would like to see you. I mean, I don't know. After the whole prison debacle, I don't... You think YB's still worried against you? I think I still hold it against me, you know? Maybe it would do you some good to t talk to someone like that. You know, Jeppel does therapy or just talking to YB, maybe. I can help ease you in. I don't know. I just... I like to see people getting together, not drifting apart, you know? We've been through so much. Yeah. Like, it feels weird in a month like December now where we've been free of so much BS that this is our biggest problem right now, you know? People not seeing each other. People not hanging out together. Yeah. Uh, anyway, it's, it's not it's not really any of my business. I was just thinking on behalf of YB because I know YB's been a little anxious lately. It seems. I could pop by him now. Yeah, uh, get... Well, YB's still gone. YB was supposed to be back last oh. night from a trip, but if YB comes back today or tomorrow, I'll make sure uh, to let you know or something. All right. Yeah. Let me know. I yeah. L listen. Don't don't be intimidated to do so either. I'm just saying that you know I knew you two were friends and. I don't know, maybe YB could use a friend. Maybe you could use a friend. Maybe I could. I like you, Puffer. You're one of the good ones. And I appreciate all that you've done these last few months, you know, taking care of things. I trust you. Thanks. It's nice to have somebody that trusts me. Yeah. And well. no ulterior motives or anything, right? We're, we're good here? No, <laughs> like, you don't want me on a team or anything? No, There's nothing, like, going on? Puffer, you, okay. could, you could come to YB or me one day and tell us that you want to disband the knights. You're the only knight that really is around. I'd never considered myself one, especially how it started. Uh, I don't know. It's Maybe it's time the knights did disband, but I'll leave it up to you and YB. I don't want to part maybe. of leadership like that anyway. But then who will protect Marigold? Maybe we don't need a knight task force <laughs> to like take care of it. Maybe we just know who's capable, who's able to, you know, Lay their life down. It's something I've done before, and I'd do it again. I just don't think I need the title. I don't think anybody does. It might be best to just change up this place and 
not make it a night guild anymore, just make it an actual guild or tavern. Yeah. Baby steps. Baby steps. All right, Puffer. I'll let you get back to it. But uh, hope all goes well with you, all right? I'll see you around. Yeah, you too. All right. Take care. See you around. Hmm. It does suck to see this place not being used as much. All right, what's the fastest way to Julie's? I guess uh, over here. Julie sent me a message, a letter the other day, asking to come by. I didn't get to come by because I was too busy worrying about YB and uh, cleaning the house. So, yeah, we'll go with that. Hope she's not mad at me for coming a day late. She's around, that is. I haven't seen much of her. Except for the dinner. Before that, I was given her resources and I haven't really seen her around, so. Maybe I'll see her around more often. Uh, should probably cross over here. Okay. Hmm. It's not as snowy over here. It's because of the swamp. Uh, hello, Julie. Hi. Julie, hi. How are you? Hope all has been well. Oh. Um, I'm doing really good. I came... Bye. Um, sorry for being a day late, but you sent me something in my mailbox yesterday. Yeah. Um. Oh, a gift? Thank you. Yeah. Oh, alright. I'll wait. A gift? What the hell? Hi. Do you want your book back? Oh, what is that? Is that a halberd? Holy. This is for me? Wow. Holy. That that's amazing, Julie. You, you really have done yourself. I've seen your collection. This is this is awesome. Wow, thank you. Uh why? <laughs> I appreciate it nonetheless. Oh, it's your last job? Are you retiring from blacksmithing? Oh. Um, are you moving out of Marigold, or are you starting something new? Oh, okay. That's cool. Well, thanks a lot, Julia. Wow, that that's awesome. This looks amazing. Thank you. Um... Really appreciate it. Hope you've done well. And uh, hey, um, whenever you start your next job or choice on what you want to do, let me know, man. I, I, I help people get jobs now, I guess. It's kind of my non-presidential duty, I guess. So I'm I'm happy to help. So yeah. <laughs> all right. Take care, Julie. All right. Thank you. Um, I'll see you for New Year's. Uh, did you hear about that, by the way? There's this party in Asphus? Yeah. Um, there's going to be a party in Asphus, you know, the town that, uh, well, not town, the city or whatever that Anna owns, way out there. Um, I believe there's some posters downtown if you want to take a look at it. But on New Year's, we're all going down there to celebrate the New Year's. All Marigoldians are welcome. So, hopefully I'll see you there. Alright, take care. Stay warm. Yeah, stay warm. As if it's not warm enough out here. Jeez. Alright, I... I think I'm done. Should have went and talked to Koo today, but maybe I can go tomorrow. I'm feeling already pretty exhausted. Happy to see the train station coming along. Um,
makes me happy to see. All right, let's go home. I don't see much of Ose either. Hmm. Also, how did that get there? Hmm. <sighs> it's really nice to see Marigold coming along. Still got to tear down that thing. Now, what am I going to do with you? You big, stupid brick building. What am I going to do with you? I haven't went inside in almost a month now. I've hired, to, I've hired people to clean this place instead of actually doing it myself because I can't even bring myself to walk in there. Maybe this can go with the knights. I don't think anybody would miss it either. <sighs> Whatever. It's just a building. Home sweet home. How you guys doing? My lovely little animals. Oh, is that Jazz? Oh, hey guys. Hi. Hi. How's it going? You're up. Good enough. And you're here. I thought you were with YB. No. I've been here the whole time. I've been messing with my Lancer. Oh. Uh, yeah, that would explain it. I haven't really checked YB's room. Huh. Right. Um, I thought you were with YB because YB's not home yet. YB was supposed to be home. That's what I was thinking, but now I've seen hide nor tail of him. Have we got anything in the mail or anything? Like any letter or anything? I think so. From... I think so. From Astros, I think. Why yeah. we spent the night. Okay, so why we did spend the night. Okay. Yeah. I mean, I figured as much. I mean... I would hope so. I would hate for it to be something else that it was keeping it there, but... Right. I don't know, I just went and got all my shit done for today. And I don't know, I was hoping I'd hear from YB or something, but I guess that's good news. Did they say when YB would be home? I assumed sometime today. Okay. Well, I learned also something else about YB. But we'll talk about that after. But, um, check this out. Julia made me this new halberd. Very cool. Yeah. Jeez. Um, looks, uh, I can't imagine how much time she must have put into it. But, uh, anyway. Um, I'm kind of hungry. I'm going to make a little soup. Have you guys ate or anything? Oh, YB. Hi. Welcome home. Hey. We were just talking about hey. you. What what happened? We're... Oh, um, I was at Asphys. Well, yeah, but I thought we, we said that you'd be home, you know, for in time, you know, for bed. We didn't know where you were, man. And I thought Jazz was with you, so if I, had, I had faith that, you know, Jazz would be looking over your well, Casper. No, Casper was with me, and Casper needed to get its arm waterproofed, and then it needed to stay for a night, and Di and Anna didn't want me walking home alone. So then I ended up staying the night, too, and then we were talking about more laws this morning. Okay. That makes sense. Okay. I, I was just worried, because, you know, I would have wanted you home before night, you know? Yeah. We didn't get the letter until, like, Which it, uh, yeah. maybe this morning. I, well, I didn't check our mailbox, so I guess you did. But I don't know, man. We, we, were, worried, we were worried. And you, you and I got to talk about something else, too. But uh, I don't know, man. I just wish we talked about it. Like, if you went there knowing that you'd be back the same night or something, I was just... I, I don't... Sorry that the plans changed. It, it... They didn't want me leaving. They want me coming home alone. I understand that, but like, if anything happened, I would have gone out there and I would have helped you get back. I know Casper would have. Well, it was unforeseen. 
Yeah, I, I know. I'm just. So what you all think I can't handle my own? That, that's not what I'm saying. I'm just saying that. You know. That's what everyone is implying. All of a sudden, everybody's treating me like I'm a fucking child. When what? Last year you weren't treating me like I was a fucking child. Why start now? Huh? <sighs> Why be? I thought I could take care of myself. Apparently not. Apparently everyone thinks that I can't take care of myself. Either treat me like a kid or treat me like an adult, Jay. You can't keep flipping between them. Why, do you want me to treat you like an adult? I would much rather you choose one. You've been living with us f for for months now. We, we haven't had any issues. Why, why this now? It's not that I... Uh, listen, I just... I care about you a lot. And I'm sorry that it wasn't always like that, but you have to understand, things are different. Things have been better. I thought we were doing good for you. I've been better, so why does it still hurt, Jay? I... Look, I'm... I'm sorry. I don't mean to be upset. I was just worried. You know, I... I want to make sure you're alright. It's not that I don't think that you can take care of yourself, it's just when we're told something, when Melody and I are told something, that you'd be home by a time with a certain someone, Casper, I'd expect to see Casper and you here at that time. And oh, it's no, fine if... plans changed. I know, plans changed. It's just... Maybe next time we're like, I don't know, we go with you or something to, to ask us, or Anna comes here to no, talk about love. one La. of us has to be here. We both can't leave. Then I don't know how this works. What if something happens? Listen, I'm, I'm fine with staying here. Maybe Anna can come here and talk to you about laws instead of you going to Asphus. Alright? Well, Anna has to stay in As, Or at least... I don't know how it fucking works in Asphus. I'm sure Who's Simon can handle it for the Asphus. night or something. Or literally any of her subjects or anything. So... You would prefer... What? So you could babysit me? No, YB, it's not about babysitting you. Look, you're 17. You're almost an adult, okay? I want to treat you like one. We have been. We've been giving you all your your free roam. We've given you a room. We haven't said a word about it. I'm doing it because, well, I, I have a lot to make up for. And you know that. And I don't want you to hurt anymore, man. I want you to know that you can confide in Melody and I and be there. But th th that we can be there. Sorry. I'm sorry you're hurting. Did everything go okay in Asphos? Yeah, but I'm kind of tired. I'm going to go lay down. Uh, maybe now's the, not the best time, but I talked with Rain. She said you missed uh, your last four doses of your, your Zoloft. I didn't even know you were taking them. But since you're under our roof, they kind of put it with my prescription. So I just got them now. Is there a reason you haven't been taking them? Do you want to talk to someone about it? To Jappel? And he's... You know, he prescribes my stuff. Maybe you can talk to him. Or talk to Rain. Maybe you don't need this. Unless you prefer to use it. I don't want to... I want this right now. Okay. Good night. I'm Shit. I shouldn't have done that, have I? It'll be talked about in the morning, or whenever YB wants to talk about it. <sighs> it's just... Do, do you mind talking to YB? See if it's okay? If it doesn't want to talk to me, that's fine. It's just... I just want to make sure it's okay. I couldn't sleep well last night just knowing that it wasn't home. Care about the guys all. I'll do what I can. <sighs> can you just give me a minute? One second. Say again? I've had some rabbits. Long day? 
Yeah, I know you were too tired to hear me and probably even remember it, but yeah, I stopped by a few places, talked to some people, talked to Rain about this prescription thing. Yeah. But uh, besides getting an X from, well, not an X, Halberd, uh, from Julie, I talked to Puffer. He says that business has been pretty slow over at the Guild Tavern. Well, you know, he's still appreciative of all the alcohol we cook or you cook for him, but nobody really comes by anymore. And I don't know. I was saying the, I was saying the same thing I was telling you like last week about the knights. Maybe it's best that they just go. Like as an organization, you know. Yeah. Don't, don't need some little patrol. There's been no patrol, though. That's the thing. There are no knights left in Marigold. I, I don't want to consider myself a knight. I I do the same thing the knights do, but maybe that's just it. Maybe there doesn't need to be a title. Maybe there doesn't need to be an organization to be, I don't know, uh, under. You know? Puffer, I trust Puffer. I've gotten to know Puffer a lot better since the Conventus days. And I trust him. Like, I'd say he's a good friend of mine. And I know the guy's young and, and stuff like that, but... I don't know. I, I might leave it in his hands. I tried convincing him that maybe he can stop by sometime and talk to YB, because I know they haven't talked in a while. And you used to tell me how good friends they used to be. You know, before Asphodel happened. Even before the election, yeah. right? I mean, yeah, they were... They're the same age, really. Yeah. He's the only kid YB knew besides Catsburg. And YB's been with us for almost four months, and Puffer has never come out here, and... And if YB goes out, YB goes to see Casper. I don't know, I just... Maybe YB... Maybe YB's feeling some... Feelings from, you know, the prison stuff. Maybe YB's just... Needs some time. I know, I just... I want to try to help them get together again, you know? Like, maybe... Maybe that's just what they need, is a friend. I, I know Puffer's had a drinking problem at, a, at an early age, and... We're just finding out now about YB with its drinking problem. Maybe they could just both use a friend, you know? Well, I just... YB does have Casper. You said what? YB does have Casper. Maybe YB just needs a moment. I don't know. Uh, I just... I hate not being able to do anything. I want to help people get closer, get friendlier, do things more together, not be so distant. You know? I hate that this is the thing we're thinking about in a time like this. I was just explaining it to Puffer. This is what we're worrying about. Me with my blood pressure thing, and why be with a drinking problem, and Puffer not knowing if business is going to keep up and if the knights should even be disbanded or not. It's crazy to think that we were just ha we were just out of a revolution, a Conventus Council, an election with killer terrorists running around, a and and this is what we're focusing on. There should be no problems in the way. Why is this something we're dealing with now? Be fair, we don't really know if it's a problem for YB. Maybe YB just wanted to try wondering. To see what the bad rep is all about it or whatever. Oh, I just... Yeah, we had big reactions to it because I was really worried. We weren't that harsh. We can't on label it, it a drinking problem. I hope not. I just wish it knew that it could have talked to us before trying to experiment with alcohol as well. Like do it in front of us at, at the very least. Can you imagine if YB got yeah. drunk on Casper's tree and fell off? I don't even want to think about that. At least that didn't happen. Yeah, th thank gods it didn't happen. That's all I think about when stupid situations like that. I gave up drinking. I don't want YB to get into that. I don't... I don't want YB to fall the way I did. I had to do some... you gotta show it the way. It won't even listen to me sometimes. I, I don't want to be, like, overbearing or worried about it. I just... YB means a lot to me. It means a lot to you. I know. It's just... I'm just trying to do the right thing. I know. And I just wanted to know that I care about it. 
and that I want to be there. I, I don't want to treat it like a kid, but, you know, maybe I have to start treating it like an adult. And that's why it needs to take its prescriptions, maybe. Maybe YB needs them. I... It's a weird gray area, you know, 17 going on 18. Technically an adult in some places' eyes, but they don't have the experiences. Like, they don't know how to file taxes. YB can barely lead a country, but now why be stuck doing that? It's not fair. And I just want... Yeah. Very not fair, but... I just want... We should just let it know that if it wants to talk to us, we're always open to, but we don't want to force it to. Haven't we been doing that for months? Throughout October, past Halloween and Thanksgiving and all that stuff, we've told it that, you know, it can talk to us, but it feels like we're... It's like we're asking YB questions. It's like we're asking how YB's doing, how YB's feeling. What does YB think about this? YB doesn't just openly come to us anymore and just talk. Not since it first asked to stay here. It feels so long ago. I don't know if, if something's changed with, with you and me, but... I don't know. It, it's feeling a lot like parenting, and I, I know it doesn't want to feel like that, or... Uh, I don't know. Maybe I'm just a bad parent. <laughs> We're barely parents. I just like to feed the kid and keep it warm at night, you know? Give it a room. I know it doesn't want to go back to its home yet, it's just... It's tough. And I know it's tough on him, too. Maybe it's I'll... the bare minimum, but we were its friends first, not its parents. Yeah. It's, it's easy to forget how much has changed when I talk about everything in the last few months, but you're right. You always are. Not always. No, uh, you've been right about a lot of things. Like, boom. Well, what was the last time besides just then? What, just now? I mean, I thought I was a pretty good hunter, but I've only ever followed your nose when we're out there. You know what's best. You know what's the best place to go find rabbits and everything. I trust your judgment. That's because I'm crazy. Oh, well, I'm crazy in love with you. You got me there. <laughs> I trust your judgment. I... I look to you for guidance sometimes. And if I gotta, you know, deal with this shit sometimes with YB and anyone else, then I know that I can talk to you about it and you can say something that'll change my mind or change how I'm going about things. It's just, you keep me grounded, is all. Thank you. You're welcome. That does remind me when you're shouting at YB and Moss at the front door and I gave you a talking to. Yeah, I, that was kind of funny. I needed that talk, though. I, I was wrong for what I said to YB, but fuck Moss. <laughs> I know. I just kind of want to go lay down for a little. I feel like I just walked all over Marigold because I kind of literally did. I might even go visit Ku tomorrow. I didn't want to squeeze it in today. That's fair. I just... Maybe I'll try talking to it later today. You know, I want us to be happy. You know? Like how you are in this yeah. photo. I can't believe I wore the same outfit. So I are mean, you, actually. Yeah, so. we, we did the same thing. Plus, you really still <laughs> like wearing the jacket. And it looks a lot better on you than it ever did on me, so... You keep saying that, but I, I know you don't want to wear it. Both parts are true. I say that a lot because I mean it and because I love you. Hmm. Go to bed. Sure. Did I mention how pretty you are wearing when you wear it? Also when you wear, you know, anything else, literally? Every single day that we have been together. Mm-hmm. And guess what? What? I love you, Melody. I love you, Jay. I'm going to close my eyes, okay? Okay. If YB comes down, uh, try not to get too into it without me, all right? Okay. 
Maybe like slowly wake me up kind of thing. I'll do my best. Okay. I love you. I love you too. A halberd. Looks fucking awesome. Literally, look at that shit. <laughs> I really owe Julie. Should make her a cake or something. And these prescriptions. I'll put them in here so I don't forget. Hmm. Alright, I'm going to close my eyes for a bit. Oh, oh, it is evening. I should probably drink some of this. Ugh, tastes like shit. Alright, bedtime.